Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we have an amazing new piece of hardware, a blast from the past, if you will. We're gonna dig into that, but first, let's go ahead and spin that intro. And we're back. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's in the box. Oh, in the box? You know what time it is. RGB knife. Engage. That never gets old. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. I'm pretty excited about this. This has been around for many years, this specific item, and they've got a few different variations of it. And it was really big and really popular during the last bull run, and I never really dug into it. But uh, staying on theme with my mining motherboards, Let's open this thing up. You know what? Let's blink it open. Ready? Go. <laughs> Beautiful. Just like magic, baby. All right, here it is. It's the Rabbit Tech all-in-one mining motherboard. These things, again, were really popular in the last bull run. They actually were out two bull runs ago, um, and they were really sketchy to get a hold of back then. You had to wire a country, and I believe it's... Uh, this company is out of like a Russia or somewhere over in that part of the world and you had to bank transfer directly to actually pick one of these up and it was a big hassle. And then uh, they came real big and real strong on the last bull run because they were cheap affordable solution whereas mining motherboards went crazy through the roof last uh, bull run. So finally I picked one of these up. I got this one off of eBay for about a hundred bucks. And what are, what's so great about these things, well, number one, they're basically the shape of a GPU. It is a motherboard, the whole chipset. It's got your CPU and cooler right underneath it here. Then you have, this is where you can plug in your uh, SSD right here drive. Then you have your RAM. This one comes with eight gigabytes of DDR3. I believe there is a DDR4 model as well. So this is definitely an older type board. Um, and then on your side, you have eight GPU slots here and they're actually labeled GPU one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they just have USB threes out. And that's where you can plug your risers directly into the out inputs here. And then you have just one little six pin connector on the end. And this is how you can power it. You can run it directly off of a server power supply and you run it right up into this six pin connector right here. USBs for your risers. And then you have your outputs on the end. You've got two USB threes. You have an HDMI display out. You have a USB two. And then you have, of course, your RJ45 uh, socket, your uh, ethernet port right there on the end. So yeah, this is an all-in-one solution. And then on the back, you just have a back plate, like a protective plate so that it doesn't short out. and normally on a gpu that helps with cooling but in this instance these really aren't used for cooling um, you do have a pin oh this is your pin set like your normal power connector on a motherboard so you could plug in if you have a a power switch you can plug it into right here on your pin set so yeah that's pretty nifty and then of course you have a battery to keep any kind of bio settings memory settings in there um, yeah so this thing's really cool let's take a really good close-up look of it and then we'll talk a little bit more about what our plan is and what we're going to do with this thing and then we'll go ahead and cut out of here. So let's get that view. Before we dive too deep into this product, let's go ahead and cut to our sponsor. You know quantum computers. You know blockchain. But do you know both together? Dynex was the first platform to create a neuromorphic supercomputing blockchain-based algorithm which solves real-world problems. And the best part? Anyone can post a job. Whether a company from the Global 2000, a machine learning job, or fintech and pharmaceutical. And if you don't want to program it yourself, get an expert directly at the marketplace. Run the job and be impressed by the fast result. 
So real quick, let's go over the pros and the cons of this type of a mining motherboard. First, let's start with the cons on this specific piece here is the number one is the eight GPUs. This can only support up to eight GPUs. You can't really split out and use more GPUs on this. This is an older version, so it is running off of DDR3 instead of DDR4. The CPU is a really cheap uh, Intel laptop CPU and it is very underwhelming but should be able to handle most mining tasks in say Hive OS with limited uh, CPU usage. And then the outputs are a little bit lacking. And then of course, the versatility of this thing is, uh, it's, it, it's very specific. Because it is shaped like a GPU, it really is great to put into say a rack like my rig over here. You can put it right in there and hook it right in like a GPU right next to all your other GPUs. But a lot of the time, your GPU rack, you want to have, say, 12, GP or 12 GPUs, or in this instance, you want to have eight, and you may not have extra room to put that in, so then you're trying to put it underneath, and then, you know, the layout's a little funny, and it's not like you can really just bolt it down if you're not hooking it into, say, a rack like a GPU. So that is a couple of the downfalls. Oh, and then the, uh, the, mem the, uh, the storage, you have to use the specific, um, a hard drive for this the ssd and you have to use usually have to buy a little ten dollar adapter to flash these things so that you can just plug it right into your regular desktop or laptop and that way you can flash a hive os image but really you could run this off of the usb bootable version of hive um, so maybe that's an option but i'll probably just buy a nice little uh, ssd to put on there now the pros the pros on this thing are pretty obvious it's just a really convenient design you can strap it right into your rig you have no risers uh, well you're not running the mini board on the pcie risers you're running direct usbs and a lot of times those pcie connections on a motherboard are one of the first things that fail points of contact for your gpus and then they stop reading and then it causes sometimes instability or your system not to boot and uh, one of the greatest con uh, pros on this thing is that you can power it with the server power supply with a single six pin. So you just run an extra six pin wire off of your server power supply, plug it right into there, and then yeah, um, put your, you put your hive image on there and you boot this thing up and you go. And then it has a little manual reset right here on the end. And then you have your plug-in for your uh, power input, right? The same normal input pin set that you would have on any motherboard. So yeah, this thing is a sick little design. Now, these things, they still sell them from RevTech, the newer versions. I believe they're about $200 on the RevTech.io site. And I'll make sure to put a link down in the description for those as well. I would advise if you're wanting to pick one of these up to just go to eBay, find a trusted seller, pick one up. They are readily available for eh, about $100 to $150. I got a good deal on this one at just sub $100. Um, but these are great all-in-one solutions. What about you? Have you ever used one of these motherboards? If so, comment down below. Tell me. Say, Altered, are these great or Altered, these are trash. Don't recommend these to people. So, would I recommend you buy this? Should you buy this? Again, it's kind of a niche item, but if you want an all-in-one design and you're only planning to run eight GPUs, this is a great solution. I have heard some issues um, with not running as well on the 40 series but i guess we can test that out and see if we find any issues we'll uh we'll hook a couple 40s in here and just to see what exactly happens so yeah stay tuned to a future video we're gonna build a nice little mining rig with this guy we're gonna test it out and we're gonna make sure to tell you whether you should buy it or not what about you? Have you ever tried one of these RevTechs? Do you think that they're worth buying? Am I crazy for buying one of these now? Make sure to tell me down in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. You Let me know if these are great motherboards or if they are trash. Please let us know your feedback down in the comments. So yeah, that about does it for today's video. If you're new to mining and you need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.